All right, guys. So this is another Patreon request, and this one comes from my good friend, uh, the Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, thank you so much for this one. And this is one, this was part of one of the four he originally sent me, and this is the last one, and I kind of saved it for last because, well, this was going to be an interesting subject and kind of give, um, it'd be interesting to see how this pl all plays out. So... <clears throat> Basically, as you can see from the title, uh, like, uh, well, whatever the hell I'm going to call this, you're probably wondering what this is all about. Well, Chris asked me to do a subject talking about Johnny Bravo and could he work in modern day in the mo in modern day cartoons. Now, as we all know, uh, Johnny Bravo was a cartoon about a guy who really wanted to fuck everything that was of the female gender, <laughs> and. I don't know if you're aware of this, but that wouldn't fly in, in today's world. <laughs> but with all the talk of cartoons coming back, of several char uh, characters being resurrected over at Warner Brothers, while tons of other shows are being wiped out, thanks a lot, Discovery. Yeah, I, I fucking hate the whole... I fucking hate the whole... Because people have been asking me to talk about it, I have nothing to say other than it sucks. That's really all I have to say. What, what the fuck do you want from me? I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just gonna say, I hate it. I don't like it. There you go. Um, but basically, we do know that Gennady Tartakovsky, the guy behind Primal and Samurai Jack, is bringing back classic characters, and among those might be Johnny Bravo, which he does have a hand in. He did have a minor hand in helping create that character. Now the question is. If he if Johnny is among those characters, could he work in modern day in a modern day society? Because Johnny did shit that was like not okay. I mean, I still love the show. Don't get me wrong, but like in modern day, that shit wouldn't fly. Now it's interesting to note that Johnny was not a total monster. He wasn't like trying to. He was hitting on women, but he wasn't like verb. He wasn't physically assaulting them. He wasn't like talking down to them when he got turned down. He wasn't like, you know, uh, you know, ah, uh, screw her or so whatever. She's a, she's a tease or whatever. Although I do remember in the early seasons he did do that, but they moved away from that in later seasons. So it's not like he wasn't a, he was a total monster. So that's something you have to look at is that he wasn't this, you know, he wasn't a fuck boy. That like Johnny Bravo was not a fuck boy. I mean, the guy loved his mother, and also like saved Christmas once or twice. Um, Johnny is definitely, like, he's problematic, don't get me wrong. He is, he is a problematic character, let's, let's be real. But at the same time, um, he is also a character that has his own flaw, who has his own flaws. And let's not forget, he did stick up for, there were episodes where he did stick up for women who were being pestered by real douchebags. Like, he did stick up for them, so... I think that Johnny, if you bring Johnny Johnny Bravo back in this day and age, I think you could do something with him. I think you could do something and kind of walk this line of, yeah, he wants to date women, but also he's not a monster. Like, at no point did Johnny ever, like, get someone intoxicated and try to have his way with them. He did force himself a lot on that, and that's a problem. I think we need to cut down on that, but... Definitely, I could see, like, you can keep him, like, hitting on, doing all those cheap pickup lines and whatnot, and do, um, <laughs> and basically do, like, um, have him get turned down or get punched or whatever, um, but I don't think, like, him, like, him, like, full-on trying to get up and grab women or stuff like that, I think that's gonna be thrown, I, that would be thrown out. I also see, like, Johnny, if they bring back Johnny Bravo, I do think they would stay more for, away from the catcalling and whatnot. I think it'd still be there, but it wouldn't be at nausea. It wouldn't be as prevalent as it was back then. I think it would be more like Johnny going on wild adventures, because that's what a lot of people forget about the show, about Johnny Bravo, is that Johnny... <laughs> Johnny went on some really whack ass adventures, didn't he? He like all in the name of of women. He went on some wild whack ass adventures with Carl and Pops, and you know, yeah. It'd be also like that was the whole point of the show is that here's this guy who you think would get just gaggles and gaggles of ass, 
and he gets none. So I think you could really play with that in this day and age. <clears throat> I also think it would be kind of fun to see Johnny... Like, there's so many like new ways to bring back Johnny Bravo, and I think it could work in the sense that, like, he would join... He would work at a coffee shop. He would work at, like, a faux Starbucks place because he sees all the women there working. And he's like, you mean to tell me that there are... That the women... The male-to-female ratio is slim? I'm in. <laughs> like, sign me up. I am ready to serve some coffee and some love. <laughs> That would exactly be Johnny's reaction. That would straight up be Johnny's whole train of thought is he would literally, that's a whole episode right there is him working at a faux Starbucks just so he can hit on all the women. I guarantee you I've had, I know people who have done this because I have friends who have done this. I have legit have had friends literally join Starbucks, hate themselves, and I'm like, well, why did you do it? You hate it, like, why did you do this at all You, if you hate it? And he's like, I was, like, trying to get the girls. I'm like, ah, you were thinking of with the wrong head. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think Johnny can be saved. I think Johnny can't, Johnny Bravo can and could work in this day and age. I really do think, but I think you would have to tone down some things. That's what I'm really going with, is that you would really have to tone down some some things. And honestly, I'm not I don't think if I'm properly qualified to talk about all this. I'm I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. Like what I don't know what else to say. I think I think he Johnny is a problematic character, but I think he's salvageable. That's where I am right now is that I think he is a he is a character who can who has damage. He's damaged goods, but you, I've worked with damaged goods before, and they still work out. So I think you could, you could, if you give him the right people, which I think Gennady is, if he decides to do anything with Johnny, I think you could do something good with Johnny in this day and age if they ever decide to bring him back. The question is, can you bring Ed and Nettie back? I know Danny Antonucci is really, really not cool with Cartoon Network for justifiable reasons, which. That's a whole other hornet's nest right there that I, don't, I never want to kick. Um, but, yeah. So, it felt prevalent to do this video last, because not only because of the whole jo of Johnny, who Johnny is as a character, but also of all the stuff, the shakeups going on at Warner Brothers right now. So it felt like a prevalent video to kind of do. But anyway, I'd like to thank Chris. Uh, I know you're watching this, bro. Uh, like thank you for sending me this patreon and you guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys think where do you do you think johnny bravo could be saved in this day and age just comment below let me know and as always if you would like to have a uh, patreon request done just hit the link below head on over to my patreon and hit the fourth tier where, where you once doing so you can send me requests for videos to do here on youtube but other than that hope you all enjoyed this i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time in the multiverse